Hello everyone. I'm uh, pleased to see that everyone's taking flattening the curve seriously and I'm proud of our community. By following the recommendations of our public health experts, staying home, not gathering in groups, washing your hands and only going out for essentials, we are helping to stop the spread of COVID-19. However, it is not the time to let up on physical distancing. It's more critical now than ever before. Passover, Easter and Ramadan are fast approaching and this year will mean celebrating in ways we have never done before. During this challenging time, we must celebrate separately, remain in our own homes, refrain from meeting in person and maintain the two meter physical distance guideline. Paramedics, healthcare workers, police officers, grocery store workers, truck drivers, firefighters, and all other imperative service workers are putting themselves at risk each and every day. Let's help them the best way we can, which is by staying home during Passover or over the Easter weekend and during Ramadan. Celebrate together, but physically apart through phone calls, video chats, and other means to see family and friends. I'm pleased to share that every Wednesday and Sunday at 6 p.m., churches from across the city will ring their bells in a chorus of support and gratitude to our frontline healthcare workers, first responders, and everyone keeping our city cared for, safe, and fed during this pandemic. Thank you again to all our frontline heroes, as well as our local not-for-profit agencies for the work that they are doing on the front lines each and every day. Yesterday, City Council held its first virtual council meeting. During the meeting, Council unanimously approved waiving penalties and interest charges on the April 30th property tax installment for 60 days and the June 30th installment for 30 days. This is to help residents who have been laid off or who are strained financially due to the pandemic. Our hope is for those who are not challenged in terms of paying their taxes do so to help critical services be maintained like police, transit and fire, paramedics. More information can be found on the city's website Council also approved new physical distancing bylaw to prohibit certain activities and regulate physical distancing during the COVID-19 emergency. Our bylaw officers will be educating residents on the importance of physical distancing, but can now fine individuals $500 for not abiding by the recommendations of our health officials. As many of you know, city parking lots, play structures, play fields, other park amenities are all closed. Golf courses throughout the city are also closed. And a reminder that all city-run programming has been suspended and all city facilities, parks, playgrounds, sports fields, and city administration facilities remain closed until at least May 25th. Emergency response by Hamilton Police and Hamilton Fire Department and Hamilton Paramedics is not impacted. This new way of living is hard, but it's brought out the best of our community. I've read dozens of stories of how our community is showing its support to our frontline workers and helping people in need like the Swiss Chalet on Queenston Road, who are offering free dinners to bus drivers and grocery store workers as their way of saying thank you. And Waterdown Collision, who will be picking up and delivering non-perishable food donations from anywhere in Flamborough to take to the local food bank. If you're able to donate, contact Waterdown Collision at 1-888-470-5072 or at claims at waterdowncollision.com. Stories like these make me so proud to be a Hamiltonian. Thank you everyone for sharing your stories. Please keep your photos and stories coming to mayor at hamilton.ca so we can share them. You can keep up to date on the latest COVID-19 information by visiting hamilton.ca coronavirus or by calling Public Health Services hotline at 905-974-9848. Now is the time to stay home and save lives. I wish you a happy Easter and a happy Passover.